I want to make sure you guys can understand where her second inspiration came from and how she decided it's time to launch. Yeah, so um, my husband's a little bit of a zombie fanatic. He's like in love with The Walking Dead. It's his must watch program every week. And we decided to take a vacation to um, Bora Bora for our 10th anniversary last March. And he happened to read World War Z. And as he's going through the book, he's like, Christine, you guys could do something really cool with that zombie campaign because all these little vignettes could totally fit into valid business scenarios where you would help your customers recover in the event of a zombie apocalypse. So Hubby got a big high five on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so I, once you came back from vacation, we had, we had to put it into high gear because <laughs> Um, we heard that Brad Pitt was launching the movie in early summer. This was at the end of March when I got back from vacation. Um, so we very quickly rallied the troops and figured out what we could do to repurpose some of the content that we had originally developed for the zombie campaign that we put on the shelf because of Hurricane Sandy um, and how we could very quickly get this into market to time with the launch of World War Z. And through a lot of hard work and, and late nights, um, the timing was impeccable. I mean, we hit right on the nail with the timing of the launch of the movie. You couldn't turn on the TV, you couldn't go to a website without that World War Z trailer coming across. And so our, uh, the campaign that we wound up designing really pulled from that look and feel um, and then had several components based on, again, that segmentation of the audience that I mentioned earlier. So you launched a pilot. Tell us a little bit about that. So the pilot, this is very, very targeted, 56 uh, C-level executives. Um, you know, most were in the later stages of the buy cycle. And it was a two-step direct mail campaign. And I, I gotta be honest, I'd been very anti-direct mail for quite some time. I feel like it's expensive, it's cumbersome, and it's really hard to measure the results. But with this, we had some money to throw at it. We're like, let's, let's give it a try. So the first part of the direct mail, you can see in the lower, right hand uh, corner there, our recipients received a shadow box with a thumb drive that said, you know, zombie apocalypse preparedness agency open now. When they looked at the thumb drive, there was a customized video that would say, you know, Rachel, if you're seeing this video, you've already made it further than most. In the coming days, I'm gonna send you everything you need to survive the apocalypse. And you hear the zombies like banging on the bunker. <laughs> um, and then two days later, they received a zombie survival backpack with the book, World War Z, or How to Survive a Zombie Apocalypse, rather, two tickets to go see the movie, um, zombie repellent, which was in fact silly string, um, and a couple other you know, little things in the backpack. It was very well received, very well received, and it landed exactly where we wanted it to, which is on the CIO's desk. We had salespeople for the first time you know, calling us up like, can we do more of these? I walked in to close the deal, and it's on the guy's desk. He thought it was the most creative thing. Um, so really changed our perspective on direct mail as a, as a tactic when you use it to get at the right audience in a very targeted way.